Hey folks, this is Chief Instructor Andrew Evans of Hockey and Martial Arts, and I just want to show you this amazing library that I'm at right now. Uh, Professor Eugene Cedeno, who I've known for over 20 years, and uh, we're at his in his dojo office, and wow, it's just amazing what's here. I mean, uh, he's got all different sections. I mean, uh, one time uh, someone complimented me on my martial arts library, and I'd say mine's about half his size. And, uh, yeah, and you've been collecting this for decades. Since the 60s. Man, pretty amazing. Yeah, some of these I got when I was a kid. <laughs> Still training. Before I was even a black belt. Yeah. Now, now, one thing I wanted to point out, and a professor said the same thing too, is, I mean, you know, when you're starting in martial arts, it's great to document and keep, uh, keep records. Like, you know, we were saying that we didn't take a lot of pictures of ourselves when we were starting yeah. out, and we missed that opportunity. Yeah, that was horrible when I think about it, because I had pictures of me as a kid with Professor Chow, with Sijo Imperato, uh, with Brother Abe Kamahoa Hoa. When I was a kid, I was young, but I don't have any of those. So, just good memories. <laughs> Now, now, in his safe, you know, there's some uh, neat stuff kept, but I just want to show you uh, some, some things that were kept in the safe are right here. These are valuable books that are one of a kind. A lot of them are signed, and you just, they don't make them anymore. Yeah. I mean, uh, Mitosi, you know, signed some of these books, and one of them was a training book he had, and yeah. uh, what very well used. Yeah, this one, this one is the one that's really worn out. I got that when I was still in high school. It was part of the curriculum. Our teacher said we had to get that book. So we did. Back then you could still find them in Hawaii. That was around 62 or 63. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like this one's kind of, it's around. That was the second book from Mitosi. Now, now the other thing I want to point out, this is very key. I mean, these cab flying filing cabinets here, I mean, a lot of documents there. I mean, correspondence too. And I was impressed because he had one of them open and I noticed my name in it. So, you know, we communicated over, over the decades. So that was kind of cool. So Yeah, from the different teachers, certificates, letters, all kinds of things. Even old Christmas cards like from <laughs> people who aren't around anymore. Like Frank Cordonez used to always send them to me. Mitosi would send them to me. Uh, so I just kept them because, I, you know, they meant something to me. So, so you know, basically, when you're in the martial arts, the history is being made on a really regular basis. I mean, you're, you're meeting historical people that you'll never see again, you know, in some cases. Yeah. So it's nice to have these. Well, like I told you, what even Golden mentioned to me, when we were young, and I'd always ask him to take a picture, he would always say, you see me five days a week. What do you need a picture for? But now we both kicked ourselves because that was, those would have been great pictures. You got him up there on the wall. Right? Oh, yeah. Let's get this picture of Professor Godin, Walter Godin, right there. Yeah, nice. Nice. I think we got a lot of good stuff here. Right. Yeah, this was my other life. <laughs> <laughs> Military. Yeah, thank you for your service. Right. Well, signing out. So just remember what we, what we shared here. This is a good advice, in my opinion.